Five elements of machine installation. One, foundation. The foundation transfers static and dynamic loads to the ground. It should be at least three times the mass of the rotating equipment and at least five times the mass of the reciprocating equipment. Two, anchoring. The anchoring secures the base plate to the foundation. Grouting. Use epoxy or cement to improve the stabilization and reduce the operational vibration. With proper tightness and torquing of bolts, you make sure the base plates are correctly installed. Three, isolation. Isolation absorbs the machine's vibration and prevents its transmission to other equipment. Springs allow greater deflection, resulting in maximum reduction of vibration. Pads allow less deflection, leading to less noise and less high-frequency vibration. Four, base plate. A flat, level base plate helps the machine to operate in balance and minimizes machine frame distortion. Level uses earth as the reference plane. Flat uses the surface as the reference plane. Coplanar uses one set of mounting pads as reference. If the machine base plate is out of tolerance, correct it and remeasure. Five, alignment. Alignment minimizes vibration, load, and high temperatures. Install jacking bolts. Ensure rotating machines are centered on the base plate. Place a minimum of 75 mils of shims under all machine feet. Ensure none of the piping induces any stresses on machines. Check the coupling runout after the installation. Ensure all the coupling bolts and set screws are torqued to specifications. Two mils, thousand, minimize all residual soft foot. Align the machines to the precision tolerances and proper targets. ANSI ASA S2.75-2017 is suggested. Documentation, date of installation, person completing the task, description of the machine, acceptance criteria, reference to the standard used, instruments used for measurements, parts used, visual documentation, as found and as left measurements, appropriate signatures.